Hi. It is Saturday evening and I'm getting ready to barbecue. I was supposed to do it earlier, but my son had um, prom. Well, they have him prom today. He didn't want to go, so we're taking him out. He wanted to just go out to the Mexican restaurant, so that's what we're going to do. But here I have um, two slabs of pork spare ribs. And I just put some apple cider vinegar on them. Good tenderizer. I put Worcestershire sauce. And I wondered about it in the first ingredient in this is actually vinegar. Vinegar tenderizes pork. I put liquid smoke. I put all of my wet seasonings on there first. I'm not going to do the Dales. I love the Dales on my um, beef. Mm, and not and I, and I and I put it on my chicken too, but I I don't want it on the pork today. Oh, and I got a very very good ingredient too. Hold a minute. So I love the Montreal Montreal Grill mate. So I have this smokehouse maple, and I've used just about all of it. I guess it'll give it like a sweet taste. And this is what I was telling y'all about earlier, the Montreal steak. Y'all, this is very, very good on um, ribs. And um, I have the Grill Mates Barbecue. I had never even used it. Yeah, see, it's not even open. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. Now, this stuff does have salt, so I got to be a little careful. Not much, though. Not a whole lot. So... Let's go in with the maple. And I can smell it. Smell like maple syrup. <laughs> and it's not very much in there, so let's just go ahead and open that up. Not very much. We'll finish that one off. And let's use a little of the barbecue. I know this is full of paprika. I can look at it and tell you. Just because of the color of it. It's not very salty. I did try. Uh, okay. Before I put the steak. Let's put this barbecue on the other side. Oh, I didn't want it to sit in there. Because I don't want all of my seasoning to rub off. But it didn't. Good, 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 good. Thank God. Put a little bit more here. Okay, and this is so good on there for real. This Montreal steak, oh my goodness. And also my last time cooking my, um, I didn't get a lot of views on it. But that ribeye I fixed with that Dale seasoning, oh my goodness. It tastes like it come from a restaurant. And I said, well, you know. Not his time and hours, right? Okay, so that's what it's looking like now. These are all the wet ingredients I've used. Now I'm going to add a little garlic powder. A little of this hickory. It's called, it's by Cajun Injector. Injector. You know that um, Cajun and seasoning, the liquid kind? This actually came with one of those. Well, it's, it's by the same people. Sometimes I'll just put that um, Montreal steak and that'll be it. But I want to amp it up a little bit. Now with this Tony's, my favorite, I'm just going to put a little bit, not a whole lot. And that's going to be it. I'm getting ready to go take my son out. We come back. I'm going to have to put all this on the grill. But I didn't want to have, not have marinated in there at all. I really hate to start up the pit this late, but I'm doing it up under my car for it and it's covered, so. And it's well lit, so it'll be fine. But I just wanted to show y'all how I season my ribs. Sometimes I'll put mustard on there right after the wet ingredients. I didn't do mustard this time because I did the barbecue spices, the different McCormick spices. So I'm going to show y'all what it looks like if, if I don't forget. Show y'all how they look when I slice them. I'm telling y'all, it took me a long time. My ribs used to be tough. But one thing I learned is vinegar and that mustard will tenderize your ribs. Also, don't put your meat on the pit cold. Let your meat come to room temperature. 
trial and error. That's how I learned that. Make sure if your room, if you put that meat on that coal, it's gonna be tough. It is. So, um, yeah, if you're gonna barbecue, make sure you take your meat out earlier. I had a package of Sanderson Farm chicken thighs I was gonna put on there. Good thing I bought that those leg quarters because when I came back, the Sanderson Farm chicken still froze. So I, I'm gonna have to get some freezer bags and put it back in the freezer. I just don't have time to wait for it. Um, but anyway, I just want to come and show y'all that. I'm gonna come back. Be back. Okay, y'all. So my ribs are done. <clears throat> and uh, I did. I want to show y'all what they look like when I cut them. I also did chicken. And here's my chicken here. But this is a uh, baby back ribs. And I'm just going to cut them. And I did put hickory chips on my pit. That's why you see that red. It took me a while, y'all, but I learned how to cook some ribs. And they are always tender. Like I told y'all, what I do is I tenderize them by marinating them in Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, the first ingredient, which is the main ingredient, is distilled vinegar. I didn't know that, but I also use regular vinegar as well. But to see that red, that's from that, those hickory chips. Okay, that's one. Uh, can you see how tender that is? That's one rack. That's that end. That's so big. Let's see if I can cut it again. Because it's thick. And see that red? Can y'all see me? Let's see if I can come over so y'all can see everything. Okay. All right, let's cut this one. And I did sample. Look how it's look how it coming apart. Falling to pieces. It was a lot of trial and error, but I did. I finally learned how to cook ribs. It took me a while. One thing I like I said before, make sure I got a bone and make sure that your food, your meat is at room temperature. That red is the smoke from the hickory chips. What I did this time, I put the hickory chips in the bottom. I put some coals on top. Then I heated my coals in the charcoal chimney. I don't use lighter fluid. And uh, I wanted to show y'all, but my battery died. It just came back up. I was gonna also show how I do my baked beans. Couldn't do that either because my camera was dead. And I didn't want to have to wait until everything got done. Now I try to cut like this is so thin. Can y'all see it? This piece is so thin. I didn't um, cut it twice. I mean, I just I did two ribs instead of the one. But those that are thick, like that, and it's tender. Look at that. Yeah, I, I finally learned how to cook ribs. So y'all, I just wanted y'all to see uh, how my ribs came out. I'm sorry I couldn't show you more, but my camera died. So that's what it looks like. Try to make it look presentable, just because that's how I do for my family. And so that's the two things of ribs. They were $6 and something per slab. I got them on sale. So that's my ribs and my chicken. Now I have some um, sausages and a few wieners on the pit. I have to get those off. All right, I'll be back.